Yeah, you guys should go try it. And, uh, oh my god! What just happened? Welcome to Hagen Racing, guys. Today, we're gonna look at some car X drifting and uh, review it. See what it's all about, react to it. So we got an S15, gold chrome. Oh, you almost hit that Mustang. I love car X drift. I don't know if you guys watch any of our other videos, but I play it a little bit and it's super fun. I don't know what it is. The cars just look so good and the tracks on it are, are just dope. Some pretty good tandem action here, getting up on his door. A little left foot brake action. It's, it's cool when you know you're tandeming, sometimes you actually end up covering the brake pedal more than the clutch. If the horsepower difference isn't that great between the two cars, I find that a lot of times I'll be left foot braking more. And so I think that's what he was doing there is covering that, that brake pedal. Um, when you're in like a way higher horsepower car than the guy in front of you, a lot of times I feel like it needs a more aggressive like handbrake pull and maybe some left foot brake. So it's good. That's like proper technique. Oh my gosh, I love this track on Car X. This one's so fun. Get up in there, dog. Oh yeah, reeling them in. So it's cool if you really want to do catch, if you want to catch up with people, you have to like cut lines. That's how you kind of like get through the track faster is go on like a tighter line basically everywhere and then you can catch up to them. You get up in there and then you start kind of following their lines. So that's what's interesting. Sometimes you start kind of following their lines. If you come up too quick or don't come up fast enough and you start making adjustments, sometimes you mess that up and you don't get on their same line. But now he's like locked in there, right on the wall. That was good. Oh, where'd this guy come out of nowhere? <laughs> oh, that guy smoked the wall just a little too wide. <sighs> Fortunately, it's just a video game, so it's good to go. <laughs> if that was real life, that car would be messed up. Oh, a little smack on the entry from that guy. It's so wide, so much angle. A little left foot brake action. If you guys don't know what left foot brake is, left foot brake is when you're on throttle, but you're also braking with your left foot. So right foot's on the gas pedal, left foot brake, or left foot is on the brake pedal and you're actually squeezing the brake down as you're drifting and on throttle, and so it actually slows your car down. Good transfer. Get up in there again. The, the cool thing is though, he's really matching like when the guy's transferring back and forth. Like that's, that's really good right there. I'm telling you, you guys can learn so much from these video games, even with the controller. Like, I have so much fun playing car X. So now I got more of like a aerial view, which is actually fun to watch too. Is it on there? Hit that clipping point good. Nice. So this guy, the, the chase guy, oh, he, he adjusted his line there. That was really good. Um, the lead driver needs to get out a little wide anyways, but the, the chase driver was on a tighter line, but then he adjusted it. This is good. There we go, getting up in there. Nice. Oh, this view is cool. It's like a roof cam. This S2000 is just S2000. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. You absolutely. <laughs> the thing was absolutely slammed. It's so funny. There we go, now he's on the same line, same angle. That was good, just took him a little time to kind of get in the right spot in the pocket as we call it, and then he stuck in there, it was good. Oh, this is a cool view. Oh, it's such a sick view. Oh, a little tap. Uh, oh, another one. That's sick. <laughs> The hands look so funny. <laughs> the inside view, I don't know why the hands on this look so funny. Oh, he has gloves on. I don't know, it just looks weird. Look at it, it looks like he has like weird veins. <laughs> it's just the leather, I think, or whatever. It's funny watching the computer try to like keep up with your controls. Uh, it's like it's like this on all games. Like, I, I have a feeling eventually they'll get it like figured out where it's really solid, but a lot of times the, the inside guys like, I noticed the arms freeze a lot, like it'll be like in frame. Yeah. Yeah. And then he's shifting, it'll like... 
And then handbrake is always slow, like it's the same action. They never have like, if you were to kind of like pull up and do like a double hit or like hold, it always is just like, it's the same way. <laughs> oh, is that a Hakasuka? It's like, I think it is. Oh my God. I want a Hakasuka so badly. Oh, he's on him too. Oh, he smacked the Hakasuka. <gasps> It's an expensive fix. <laughs> this track is so much fun too. I was doing this the other day. I also, I like playing this video game too. If you guys are new to the channel, I actually really like playing Car Strip. And this track is so much fun. You can like get up on a wall ride and then you can kind of mess with left foot brake and it really feels like, like real life drifting on a bank. I don't know. It's super fun. Okay, we're by ourselves. We're laying down like a, like we're in like the regular campaign on Manami. Ooh, that was nice. That was good. If he would have went a little bit faster, like that's the thing though. The Manami is not like real life Manami. I think the way he did that in real life Manami actually really would have worked really well. But I can't exactly target if it's longer than real life or what it is, but I don't know. He did it as, as well as you probably could for how the, the track set up. Yeah, so now he's gonna follow himself. That was like his ghost driver. Now he's gonna follow him. What's cool is he should know exactly what he's gonna do. <laughs> Dude, I mean, that's a, okay, so I was trying the tandem in this game, and that's where I would always mess up, is because I would just want to, like, full launch into their door and, like, go off the jump with them, and any little taps in, uh, like, the Car X campaign, and it ends the run. Like, they don't allow you to just even slightly tap them. No! Oh, spun out then. Don't matter, though. Cross the line. That was sick. Got the initial D, A86. On a sick toge track. With like, is that a Sephiro up front? What the heck is that? I think it's a Sephiro. It's hard to tell from here. Comment below if you guys know what the front car is. If it is a Sephiro, fun fact. Sephiro, Laurel, and S Chassis all share like same suspension everywhere. It's kind of cool. Just totally different bodies. I think Sephiros are kind of ugly, but I have seen some that are done pretty well. The 86 is a classic though. I want one of those too. God, there's so many cars we need. Can we just get this channel blown up so we can buy those sick cars? The guy in the front is not laying down like the best lead run for him to really get on him. That's why he's kind of staying back, I think. Ooh, almost hit him there. I could honestly watch Car X drifting all day long. I think it's it's super fun to watch. It's even more fun to play. You guys should go try it. And uh, oh my God, what just happened? All right, guys. On that note, I can't even process this. Hit that subscribe button. I'll see you guys in a couple days. Peace out.